Taj was he was a fantastic teammate, and I think the greatest contribution he brought to the to the the water polo program was his just natural and innate leadership ability. And a lot of that was kind of predicated and created by his talent. But beyond that, he was just a natural leader. Um, all the the other athletes, his classmen, um, people that were older than him and younger than him, all really looked up to him and uh, used him as an example of of uh, how to be in practices and in games. Uh, well, first of all, when I first met Taj, you, you could just tell right off the bat, he's a great athlete, um, just knew his way around the pool really well. He could get up and down the pool in terms of swimming, could score the ball. He had all the tools to be a phenomenal player. Um, and you could tell right away that he's got all the tools to really help the team. And then playing with him for four years, it was really gay, it was great. It was always one of those things that whenever I was in a pinch or had something going on, let's throw the ball to Taj and he would just make something happen. So. Um, Todd is a great athlete and he really fulfilled you know, his career, I think, leading the team and scoring all four years, so uh, he was awesome contributions all over the place for the team. I think that the thing that made Taj stand out amongst all the other players that I've coached was that he was just a natural, prolific scorer. He could put the ball in the goal. And I think more than anything else, Taj probably is the most coordinated player I ever had. He has the best hand-eye coordination that I've ever seen. And I think what made Taj really take off is when he took all his great skill, all his great strength, and all his great creativity, and he kind of put them all together and learned when to use which one at the right moment. At first, um, Taj was really flashy. He would always wanted to make the fancy play, the creative play, and it was amazing the things he could do. But when he really took off is when he took that skill and that coordination and that strength and that speed and put them all together and he couldn't be stopped and he could figure out a way to get the ball in the goal better than any player we've ever had in the history of our program. Yeah, well Mike Dempsey was a big one. We were, you know, friends. We played high school all together and then we played again all through college. So there's a, a nice bond between Mike Dempsey and I and we still communicate now. Um, the friendships I made with Zach Lemley and, and Matt Osmond and all those, um, Chad Hansen and I mean, I, the list goes on about all the guys. Our, we were a huge rec uh, freshman class that came in together and stayed together and, and did the fraternity thing together and, and we did everything together. Um, it was a family away from family. Um, and we still all you know, stay in contact to this day. Uh, we had won the conference championship that year and we had actually played Claremont um, in, the, in the championship game. And Whittier had a very good team that year, and I think Whittier felt like it was their year, and they had gotten upset in the semifinals of the Skyac tournament. And so we, we ended up playing Claremont in the final, um, because Claremont had beaten Whittier, and we won, won the Skyac championship. A week later, we were at the Western Water Polo Association tournament, and we ended up playing Whittier in our last game of the season in that WWPA uh, tournament. And they were kind of talking about how this was the real Skyac championship. And it was a phenomenal game. It went into overtime. And the whole, uh, I think the final score was 9-7. Taj had six of the nine goals. And I think he had the last five of the game. And they, we were just trading goals. And every time they scored, Taj would score. They would score, Taj would score. Including a goal on a great pass from Matt Rosa right at the end of the game off a timeout that tied it and put it into overtime. Then we went into overtime. And uh, Taj scored both our goals in overtime to win the game. And so... It was just a great way to finish his career on a great note, doing what he did best, which is just scoring goals, you know, any way he possibly could. And if you look at those six goals, he, he scored every way you can imagine. And so that was a great way to finish his career with a great win. Um, at, you know, not only winning the Sky Championship, but winning that game afterwards uh, was fantastic. We were playing in a game, and it was at home versus someone, I think it was Pomona or Oxy, someone that we should have been doing better. Uh, against and we go into the locker room at halftime and Tom's talking strategy and trying to get us motivated and at the end of the speech when Tom was done Taj stands up and as, as a team leader he was trying to get us motivated too and he's like come on guys we need to be doing better let's go this isn't Rose's Bulldogs out here we got to work as a team and really finish this game and get back into it and I thought that was a great story Mike Dempsey and myself still give Taj to this day a hard time about it when we're chatting and it's a funny story and it was just good just the way he was just so intense and wanted to win the game and I just thought that was a, a funny comment the the memory that sticks out most most uh, most strongly for me in, in Taj and competing is not one specific memory but just his style of play which Tom lovingly referred to as Washington shake and bake and it was kind of a combination of Harlem Globetrotter meets uh, NBA meets.
tough game face, and it was something that, that came through in everything he did um, and was very evident in practices, and oftentimes um, other teammates would sit there and watch and just kind of be in awe of what he was able to do with the ball and how he was able to manipulate the water and, and the other players in the water with him. And Taj was, was a, a great leader. He worked hard. He had tremendous athletic ability, both speed, swimming speed, quickness, creativity, ball skills. Um, and he was, he and his teammates were kind of the group we, that helped us to kind of get back to the top of the Skyac and kind of start a nice run of, of years where we were really at the top of the Skyac for many years in, in a row. So I think Taj was a big part of helping us after we won the championship in, in 93 helping us get back to the top and stay there beginning with that 99 team. And so I think for all his skill as well as his leadership on a very good team, he's certainly well deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, there's a lot of things. You can talk about the records, you can talk about leading the team with scoring for four years, you can talk about his leadership ability all put into one. It's a phenomenal career. Um, and he really turned some heads and everyone noticed that, that he was a fantastic player no matter what level you were at or what team you were, you were playing against us or for us. Um, and so when everyone notices coaches, you know, opposing athletes, you know, that, that's a really good recognition for Taj. And I think he deserves all that, you know, accolades for what, for what he's gotten from his phenomenal career. I think a Hall of Fame honoree is someone who, who goes beyond just being great uh, at their sport, but also someone that leaves a mark on a program. And from very early on in Taj's career as a Bulldog water polo player, his freshman year, it was very clear that he was, he was going to do some great things at the university and, and leave a very uh, permanent mark on the program. And that became even more clear as, you know, as we went into our sophomore and junior years and then our senior year. I think that the, the level of play that our teammates uh, were involved in and, and what they were able to do was greatly in due, to, uh, due to Taj's contributions as a, as a team leader as an amazing athlete and just a, a really strong teammate. My career as a student athlete at University of Rutherford has done a tremendous, has impacted me tremendously in that um, I'm an elementary school principal, I'm a prophet at the University of Phoenix, um, happily married, four kids, the whole bit, um, but it's taught me a lot about perseverance and dedication and all those things that go into making anyone uh, successful along, along that road that, that life kind of gives you. Um, I, I would be nowhere, not, you know, anywhere close to where I am now without my experiences at the University of Redlands. Be it in the classroom, uh, be it in the pool, be it all the things that happened to be in the classroom and the pool, all those things that were contributing factors to my uh, success currently. Being selected Hall of Fame 1 is just an honor. I mean, I remember going to the old gymnasium. I, I haven't been there in years. Um, and they would just be the, the pictures in the wall. So we would go do interrail basketball or do something in the gym. We would just kind of walk and peruse um, through those pictures and read those bios and just to be accompanied by um, people of that nature is a big honor. Uh, one, that's first. Second, it speaks to my team. Um, like I, I mentioned earlier, we came in as a freshman class and we stuck together and Tom kind of filled those missing pieces in. Um, and there's no way that this could even be a conversation without um, all the teammates that I had along the way. I think that this, the timing of this is perfect. Taj just had a, a really successful professional career beyond, uh, beyond the University of Redlands, and so it's exciting for him to be able to, to celebrate everything um, going back all the way to the University of Redlands and kind of where his professional career started. Um, we're really happy and, and proud of the work he's done, and, and He's, an, he's been a great friend and, uh, and continues to be a very important person in a lot of people's lives. So, Taj, we're really happy for you. Congratulations. You deserve it. You know, that, he's a fantastic athlete, and I'm very proud of, of him and all of what he's accomplished. And congrats, Cause, for uh, being uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. I think, uh, you know, in regards to Taj, um, the, the thing that comes to mind about him is that he was a, he was a great student. He was a great teammate, he was a great player, and he really represented, you know, what the University of Redlands is about and has continued as a great educator and has coached and, and a great father. So he's everything that we want our program to, to be about. And so Taj, congratulations. This is a, a certainly a well-deserved honor and uh, we're proud to have you as one of us. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Fame inductee Taj Jensen.
Presenting Taj's plaque this evening is his Bulldog teammate, Zach Lemley.